What's going on, everybody? We're out here at Woodlawn Memorial Cemetery, just outside of Nashville, visiting the legendary icon, George Jones, the possum himself. And we're gonna go see a few other country stars while we're here. So I tell you what, if that's something you're into and this is the first time that you're here, thank you and welcome. I'm glad you're here. I'm glad you like, I hope you like the video. And if that's the case, please consider liking, subscribing, you know, doing all the things. And if this isn't your first time and you are a subscriber, I would like to say thank you. The channel has grown exponentially huge and it's all because of you. And I would like to say thank you so much. So with all that out of the way, let's go look at these guys, okay? Okay, so coming through the double doors from the funeral home, let's take a walk through till we find somebody that we know. No, that's a different one. That's a different Ronnie. Look, it goes. There's multiple floors of this. I want to find her. Well, we're going to find her. We're just still a looking. All right, check back in. That's KT. Yeah, here we go. Look, Mom, right next to it. Right there it is. I didn't know KT died. Yeah, she passed away. There's KT. Right there. Man, I liked her. And here's Tammy. Somebody's got her mom Right there. Look at this. So that was, that was the main reason we came in here, but we're gonna see if we can't find a few more while we're in here. And if not, I'll see you out of George's grave, but I think there's one more in here that I would like to find. I know there's a bunch, but there's one more I'm looking for. And if not, if I can't find it, then we'll, we'll see you at the grave. But if not, we're, I gotta look for it. So we've been looking, and, oh, here it is. Here's the other one I wanted to see, right here. Twenty fifteen, little Jimmy. Dad, you beloved, won the World Series this year. You would be so happy. Atlanta Braves won the World Series. That's, I guess that would be from, oh, that's, that's kind of sad. But look at that, there's a little Jimmy of him when he was young playing. Look how big the guitar is compared to him. And there's Dottie Rambo right there. Lily Mae Tomlin. Jimmy how cool is that okay so let's go out and talk a little bit about the possum shall we so it's a very popular spot you'd have to imagine there's a lot of people here so we're gonna give these folks their time to do what they have to do so while we wait let me tell you a little bit about him he was born in Texas he first heard country music at the age of seven, and he was given his guitar at the age of nine. He married his first wife in 1950, but then was divorced in 1951. He served in the Marine Corps and was discharged in 53. He married Shirley Ann Corley in 54, and in 59, he recorded his hit, White Lightning, written by J.P. Richardson. 
It would be awful nice if J.P. Richardson was out here. That'd be kind of cool to tie that all in together. But as we saw from the others, look, he's got his championship hat from the Braves over here too. Look, Jerry Chestnut, while we're here, before we go any further, he's in the Songwriters Hall of Fame. He wrote Trouble, Four in the Morning, Good Year for the Roses, Another Place, Another Time, Holding, it, holding On to Nothing, it's Midnight, Love Coming Down, The Wonders You Perform, and that's him right there. Kind of looks like Alan Jackson in a way. It's kind of weird. I mean, not, not like weird, weird, but you know. So with all that out of the way, he recorded What Lightning, which launched his career as a singer. His second marriage ended divorce in 68. And then he married fellow country music singer Tammy Wynette, which we just saw a few minutes ago. Years of alcoholism compromised his health and led to him missing many performances where he's known as No-Show Jones. After divorce from Wynette in 75, Jones married his fourth wife, Nancy, in 83. He became sober for good in 99. In 2013, at age 81, from respiratory failure is what got him. But his big song, I Stop Loving Her Today, is the one that really did it for him. So let's go visit the grave, shall we? There's a lot of people. There's a lot of important people buried out here. And we only show just a few of those people. And from what I've read, we're going to come up on one before we even get to him. So we've got quite a few people in this video today. I'm just going to title it George Jones, but look, here's another one right here. Johnny Paycheck. Right there. The thing with Johnny Paycheck is he died without a paycheck. He was broke. Everybody had to get together in the country music circle and get him laid to rest. And here it is. Here it is. He stopped loving her today. Loving, loving. It'd help if I could talk. See? Jones at the top. He stopped loving her today. And you see Nancy's stuff right here on the side. Right there's Nancy's stuff. It says, No teenage boy ever fell harder for a girl than I fell for Nancy. When I met my future wife, Nancy, on a blind date in 1981. That's as close as I can get. There's a, a rock embankment. This is the possum right here. They were married March 4th, 1983. I put a golden band on the right left hand. He's got his guitar. There's music notes, or like guitar frets on both sides. And then with George, over here, it says, George Jones was and is the king of broken hearts. He sang of life heart, hardships and struggles in a way that somehow lightened our own. His voice was effortless and unforgivable. He brought unsurpassed emotion, eloquence to every song he sang. He was and is the soul of country music. No one will ever fill his shoes. He is at rest, but his music is alive and ageless. He gifted it to all of us, to the joyful and the broken. Walk through this world with me, he sang, and we will do. And here's the, the top of the, we'll start at the top, and we'll slowly work our way down. You can see him as a kid when he got that guitar that we talked about. And there he is signature in hand it says the possum and his date birth and death so there it is ain't that something wow 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 I think Kenny's got him beat but that one's still pretty good so I'll tell you what that's it that's uh, we visited the possum and we got a couple more people checked off the list while we were here. We got to pay our respects to a whole lot of country superstars, man. Like, 
little Jimmy Dickens too. Like I grew up just some about little Jimmy was the best thing ever. And if you enjoyed this, like, share, subscribe, do all the stuff. And as always, you never know what you're going to find on the back roads. We'll see you guys on the next one.